So I'm going to discuss about gynendromorph in Drosophila. Gynendromorph is a term that refers to such kind of flies which have female as well as male features. If you see this word gyne, gyne refers to femaleness and andro means male. So gynendromorph, a morphological farm which has female as well as male features and such kind of flies having male as well as female features could be seen in Drosophila population although it is not a frequent process very rarely means it depends on the genotype of the individual and uh, also if things happen exactly in the same manner which I am going to explain, then only gynendromorph may be obtained. And uh, a gynendromorph in Drosophila melanogaster could be observed and uh, then people try to understand the cause of such uh, peculiar feature. Then uh, whatever explanation was given at that time and what is actually scientifically correct information that I am going to explain here. See, this is a gynendromorph fly. It is actually a bilateral gynendromorph of Drosophila melanogaster. In this diagram, you can see the right side of the fly. This one is right side and this is left side. So in the right side, female features are seen. Right side of this fly is actually female and the left side of the fly is male. Another important peculiarity is that eye of right side is red in color and wing of this side, female side, is also quite large. Actually it is normal shape of the wing. But uh, if you see the left side, here the eye color is white. It is completely white in color and uh, the wing is quite small. This is referred as miniature wing. And since the abdominal tip is black and other features like presence of sex comb, you can see here in the right side of prothoracic leg, sex comb is absent. So this is actually female feature. But in case of male here, sex comb is present. So this is also male feature. And uh, besides this black abdominal tip, presence of sex comb indicates that left side is actually male. So important thing is to understand that why this fly is female on one side and male on other side. This is one point to understand. Another point is that why this side eye is red in color whereas other side eye is white in color. And the third thing that why the male side wing is miniature and female side wing is normal long one. We can understand this aspect very well by going further explanation of it. Before I explain the real cause of the formation of a gynendromorph like this, we should understand the way sex is determined in Drosophila. See, in case of Drosophila, the ratio of X chromosome to autosome sets actually determines the sex. So, in case of female, two X chromosomes are there in case of female and two sets of autosomes are there. Two sets of autosomes means one set comes from paternal side and other set of autosome come from the maternal side. So, two X means two divided by two, two sets of autosomes and this value comes one. Okay, the ratio of X chromosome number and the ratio and the num, uh, sets of autosome that actually comes one and in that situation the individual will be a female. Although there are so many other molecular aspects which are concerned with sex determination but this is one of the prime importance that uh, sets of autosome and the number of X chromosome determine sex in case of Drosophila. So if this value comes 1, then that will be a female. And if a single X chromosome is there, 
means one X chromosome and two sets of autosomes. So one by two, the value will come 0 0.5 and that individual will be male. Even if Y chromosome is not there, then that fellow will show male phenotype. So actually XX, XY method of sex determination is there in Drosophila, but, but it is different from the mammalian system. And we find that the number of X chromosome divided by number of sets of autosomes that determines the sex. So with this idea, we can understand that exactly what happened in this specific gynadromark. See, the individual from which this gynadromorph actually developed was having a genotype exactly shown here, means the zygote or fertilized egg that actually possessed two X chromosomes, so it would have been a female. Okay, these two chromosomes are actually X chromosome. And on one X chromosome, the alleles are W, which actually determines white eye color and another allele situated a um, little bit away from it is M that is for miniature wing. It actually causes miniature wing means short wing. So if a fly possesses 2X chromosome with WW and MM then that would definitely be having white eye color and miniature wing and that would have been a female. But here this female actually possesses W and W plus. W plus allele actually indicates for normal allele means it causes red eye color and that is dominant over white one and another allele is M plus or normal it causes normal wing so this fly would have been a normal female means a female having a red eye color and a long normal wing shape but exactly what happened that when this zygote experienced division Okay, first cleavage division occurred and as a result of that two cells were formed and in one cell both X chromosome reached properly while in the other cell a single X chromosome actually reached. So this happened because of non-disjunction of chromosomes. Due to mitotic non-disjunction of X chromosome this happened that one cell in the uh, embryo received a single X chromosome possessing W allele and small m and then two sets of autosomes. Okay, so sets of autosomes were exactly same what were actually required. But in the other cell, these two X chromosomes reached properly. So this chromosome will have W and M and the other X chromosome possess W plus and M plus. And then the entire development occurred from such type of cells. So one half of the individual possessed actually two X chromosome. And since the number of X chromosome, that is two, two sets of autosomes would have been there. So two by two means one. So that right side developed into a female structure. Having normal eye color, that is red eye color, which is found to be there in Drosophila and uh, long, normal wing so miniature wing was not there but the other side which received only single x chromosome that developed into male feature having white eye color because this x chromosome possessed w allele so this resulted into white eye color and small m allele that caused miniature wing so i hope that you people might have understood the way such type of bilateral gynandromorphs are formed in Drosophila melanogaster.